Hey guys, I want to talk with you a little bit today about some perspective that I have on life. As far as learning to listen to your inner self or your inner being, whatever you want to say, is concerned and just how this relates and how this can help you live a better life and be happier and avoid bad situations and bad people and all sorts of different things if you really start to learn to, to tune in and listen. And that's really the whole point of what I'm talking about today is just to to remind you, basically, I think we all know to do these things, but just to remind you to listen and learn to get good at listening. And I'm not even saying learn to take these actions, which might be construed as very hard, depending on what sort of life situation that you're, you're dealing with. And of course they're hard. Uh, it's harder to take the action, but like I said, all I'm trying to do today is to get you to challenge yourself just to, to learn to get good at the listening to this inner being. So to start this discussion, I want to first explain just a portion of my beliefs, and you you may or may not think this same way, but I think regardless of what your your spiritual beliefs are, you might say, I think you will identify with these these internal voices that you have, or these intuitions, or these these instincts that you have just just deep inside of you. We all we all have those things. I think you'll agree with that. But basically, my belief is that. We have a duality about our existence that is very, very interesting. But I, I do really do truly believe that we have a, a physical body, of course. We have this tangible, touchable, physical machine of a body that you get to walk around the face of the earth and interact with people and experience things and do different things, all kinds of kinds of neat stuff here in the, the physical realm. But I also believe that you have another side to that, and the real you is this soul of energy or whatever way, like I said, you, you choose to think about it, a consciousness, an internal nature about you that is spiritual, just like an energy-based thing at its core. But that is really the essence of who you really are deep down. You know, all, all your values and your beliefs and your morals and your, your the, the things you desire, every way imaginable. This is really, the, truly the, the real, real you at the very core of things. Once, if you were able to peel away your skin and your, you know, the, the physical world, even that we live in here, that, that is what you are. And I think each and every one of us is, is more familiar than you might admit to yourself or, or think you might be. But, um, that, that inner being or that inner soul that is you is, like I said, it's, it knows you better than anybody else on this planet knows yourself and your, your friends, your family, your mother, your father, anybody that's close to you, your inner being always knows you like I said, better than anybody else does. And it knows what's right and wrong for you. It knows what you are. It knows what you're not. It knows things that you're okay with, things that you're comfortable with, things that make you uncomfortable, all sorts of different different things. This, this inner being is just always looking out for you and always trying to guide you down the right path and get you to to be that, that true essence of, of, like I said, what you really are at your at your core, at your most simplest uh, in purest uh, form, if you want to say that. And the relevance here that I'm trying to paint for you is, I think all of us at points in time in our life, or, or this is really an everyday thing, to be honest with you, we have people and situations and instances that are always coming at us from many different angles that are trying to get us to compromise who we really are at our core. You know, you, you have people that try to coerce you for all sorts of different reasons. Maybe it's for, for their own gain or, you know, they think they know what's better for you or they, you know, think any number of things or even even worse. It's like you you feel like you have to like fit in with these people or they're trying to make you feel like you need to fit in. And of course, like this is a challenge for all of us as humans. We're just trying to find our way and find our place. And we're all susceptible to these sorts of factors from other people. But when these types of things start to happen in our lives that, that challenge us or challenge the, the beliefs and thoughts and, and feelings and values that our inner being has, you start to notice a bit of a resistance, I find. And, you know, the red flags start to go up and, you know, th you have these situations in your life where it's it, it becomes very apparent at some point that, you know, what somebody is trying to do to you or trying to ask of you or trying to get you to do is pulling you away from like what this inner being is really knows you should be doing or knows that's right for you. And this is that, that, that moment in time and that little red flag goes up in the pit of your stomach and starts to say, you know, Hey, something doesn't feel right about this. I don't like this. This isn't me. Um, that's, that's the first cueing of, um, of, of registering that your inner being, like I said, is looking out for you and is, and is saying, Hey, you know, whatever's going on out, 
outside there in that physical world is not good for you. This is not what you really want. This is not who you are. Um, you need to do something about it. You need to alter course. And I always think back to this early stage in my life, and I know all of us as humans go through this at, at one point or another, but you know, when you're a young person, you're just getting used to your, your life and your place in the world, and you are trying to fit in with friends or in, a, in any sort of situation, a work you know, place or a, a spiritual group or whatever it is. I mean, it could be anything. Um, we find ourselves getting coerced to do certain things. And even at this point in time, I think a lot of us succumb to the temptations at, at one point or another. Of course, it's, there's some good in that. There's a there's uh, for the sake of learning and developing yourself and getting good at knowing yourself. I guess you could say um, you compromise your your values and your standards and you do things that, like I said, all the way along you just know it's wrong. You know it's not right. You know it's really not you. What you're getting coerced into doing and um, it just it leads you down a wrong path. Like I said, to, to circle back, I. Mean, I'd, <laughs> As a young man, I mean, we all just do like stupid stuff as young guys, uh, you know, I think most of us at some point. But, yeah, I, I just remember like a, a group of friends that I was rolling with when I was younger. I mean, they, they they were just pushing boundaries in life and, you know, every every way imaginable. And it was just like those things seemed appealing at the time, but I just always knew deep down that some of the things they were doing were, were just wrong. It just wasn't like what I wanted. It wasn't my nature. It wasn't something that I was interested in. And I was... I was kind of towed along in the situations for many years. And then of course you get to this point where you, you just, you just kind of get to that point where, you know, and this is what I'm describing. Your inner being is just like, so pissed off of you. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, this is not you like, get out of there, like get away from these people, like stop allowing this like wedge to be driven between, you know, your physical self and your, your, your soul self or your essence, or, you know, the, the deep down the spiritual you, whatever you want to say, cause they're not, they're not, you know, pulling them apart is not, is not going to be good for you. And it's going to take you down a wrong path in life. And, uh, like I said, I, I just envision it as this kind of like ratcheting up of rhetoric. If you want to think about it that way, where you first have this small red flag that comes up and the things get a little bit louder and then it progresses to the point where your inner being is just like angry at you. And it's like, why are you doing this? Stop doing this. Like you need to alter course. And that's, just my example from my life, I'm sure every single one of you out there listening like can, can think back to various instances where, where somebody's trying to get you to be something that you're not and you, you have this struggle. But um, this is just, like I said, my challenge to you today is to really tune in and key in and, and just know yourself and know what you are and what you're not and, and just get really good at listening to these things. And I think as all of us go through life, you you get hardened, you grow a shell, you grow a resistance to these sorts of temptations and the peer pressures and the just all these outside forces that try to pull you away from your inner being. And when you get to the stage where I'm at, I, I really don't care about fitting in with anybody. I'm just intent on being myself and being who I am. I know myself very well at this point, and I, I could care less about fitting in with anybody or conforming to like anybody else's, you know, what they think my life should be. And I, I want to believe that all of us can get to that point. I think that's, that's certainly a, a way to be happy in life, but just getting comfortable with that notion and tuning in, listening, all that stuff is, is really the message here today, guys. So Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk again real soon.